welcome back to the channel and a preview of the Punchestown Gold Cup which takes this Wednesday at 5.55 and in years gone by we haven't had the strongest renewal of this race but this race this year looks pretty strong we've got Alaho at the top of the market at 15 to 8 Clan Deserbo comes over for Paul Nichols from England taking on the Irish in the backyard and after all he did win this race last year and Paul Nichols has won this race three times so he definitely knows how to do it he's 5 to 1 we've also got Manila Indo at 5 to 1 the Gold Cup second and we've got Galvin, Fakir Dudori, Album Photo, Jano Del Tornado Flyer and Kenboy is the rank outsider of them all at 25 to 1. And we'll start off with the favourite Alaho who's got a lot of ones in his in the form book. He's been very impressively. He won the Ryanair this time round as he won last year, but he's probably more impressive this time round. Again, he probably didn't beat the best horses in the world, but Janadil was a very distant second, and it was even further back to Eldorado Allen in third, who's definitely no mug, not the best horse in the world, but that was a very good run by Alaho. But the big question for me and for all punters would be, will he stay the three miles very strongly? I think maybe an English renewal of the race where the English races are run slightly different than the Irish. In the Irish, they just seem to kind of crawl around and then it's a sprint home in most races. I don't think this will be the strongest pace of all time. There's not a lot of natural front runners, which will get me onto my selection later on. But I think Alaho should be staying this because I don't think there's a lot of pace in this race. I think he might be able to dictate from the front and if Paul Townland can crawl around in front and then he in going out onto the last circuit he can just attack every fence and I think he's gonna take a lot of beating. Now Clan de Zerbo was as good as ever last time out in Aintree winning the bet were but be conflated and it was a long way back to Kenboy and Protectorat who were both decent enough horses as well. A repeat of that would see him bang there and he won it this race last year under Sam Twist and Davis, Harry Copton takes the ride, he gave him a peach last time too, so the jockey change would be no concern for me. And last year, even though he did win it, he might have been slightly lucky. Album photo absolutely bashed through the second last, and that probably stopped his momentum when he was coming with a good looking run. It's hard to weigh up that, but I think Album Photo probably hasn't been the same horse this year. So you think Clanders over would have every chance. Moving down the market, we've got Minella Indo in second. Now, this horse probably hasn't been at his best this season, and he was second in the Gold Cup, where he might have had a little bit of the run of the race. Turning in, he looked like he was going to give a Plutard a race, but he just faded pretty shortly home. The step down into two furlongs in trip might suit him a little bit more last time. Well, this time, Robbie Power keeps the ride, and he just wouldn't be for me. There's something about this horse where I just don't think he's up to winning it at the very top level. Even though he did win the Gold Cup in 2021, I think that was his day in the sun where everything fell right under a very good Jack Kennedy ride. And I don't think he'll be winning another grade one at the highest level for a bit of time. Now I'm going to get on to my selection, which comes at a big price at 16 to 1. And I think I'm going to give Album Photo just one more chance. He's on his peak performances, is probably the best horse in this race. He's won the Gold Cup twice. He's been placed in the Punchestown Gold Cup the last twice. Maybe slightly unfortunate last year too, because as I said earlier, he did clout through the second last and probably couldn't get going again. That probably took quite a lot out of him. And he was sixth in the Gold Cup this year, and I don't think he was disgraced. He was coming after a long layoff, and Willie Mullins had been vocal how he wanted to run this horse more often he didn't get the opportunity so his first his first run of the season came on the 1st of January his next run was in the Gold Cup and I think he'll strip fitter for that even on the day even though the Cheltenham Gold Cup is the big occasion I don't think he was fully prepped for that and we've seen in years gone by that he's taken a further step forward from his second to third run so I'm willing to give him one more chance and I've just got a feeling that Brian Cooper takes the ride I think he's going to bang this horse out in front. I don't think any horse stays this trip better than Album Photo. The age might be getting to him slightly at the age of 10, but I think with the cheek pieces on a positive ride from the front, if Brian Cooper launches 
the boomer every single fence. And I think it'll take a pretty good horse to get past him. And that's 16 to 1. Some bookies are going 14 to 1 with four places. I think that's a bit of a steal, really. Because if you look at some of the horses, similar prices, Tornado Flyer and Janadilla are the same price as Album Photo. And I think people are overlooking him. He always seems to be a horse that is overlooked, maybe just because of the age factor. But I don't think that's the strongest argument in the world. I think in the Gold Cup this time round, Port Town then didn't probably make use of him as much as he should. He didn't jump go out in places. And I don't think that was the age. I just think he doesn't jump the best in between horses. I think if he gets an uncontested lead out in front, then he'll definitely be staying on. And I think he can definitely finish in the top four in this nine runner race to get a return at 14 to 1 each way. So he'd be the selection to me yet. At the end of the day, if Alaho jumps well and stays, he will just go and win this race. But I think at the prices, Album Photo at 16, 14 to 1, I think that'll be a bet for me. And yeah, that's the video complete, guys. Let me know in the comments down below who you think will be winning the Gold Cup. And if you think I'm mad for backing Album Photo at 16 to 1, but I don't think it's the best bet in the world and I'll have some more tips coming out over the next couple of days so make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for more videos.